Aligning and sizing an image or design that has been scanned on an angle can be tedious if you simply click and rotate, click and rotate, or resize, measure, resize, measure, etc. In this example, the background image is not required and the letters should be horizontal and the small lettering must be five millimeters in height. Selecting the image and changing the size in the property box will change the whole image, including the black background. So that is not helpful at all. Enter the transform toolbar. The toolbar can be found in the toolbars list under the window menu, or the functions can be found in the edit menu. The first icons are simple reflect, rotate, and slant or skew tools. The tool second from the end of the list is the magic we're looking for. With the object selected, click the tool. At this stage, nothing appears to be happening, but notice in the prompt bar at the bottom of the work area the request is to enter the start point of the reference line, followed by enter the end point of the reference line. In this case, I'll make the two clicks along the bottom of the lettering and select zero degrees. This line is now attached to the image and whatever you choose in the dialog box will apply to the line and therefore the image. Using the M for measure shortcut, I can see the lettering in the word Harman is about 3.25 millimeters high. Using the same tool, click the line from the bottom to the top of one of the letters and select to resize at five millimeters. You can see you can choose any part of the design to realign or resize without having to consider the background of the image. To demonstrate again, let's say this logo is to run vertically and needs to be 100 millimeters long. Select the logo and the tool, plot the two points and choose your settings, 100 millimeters long and 90 degrees. In my opinion, the Transform Toolbar is one of the hidden gems in Embroidery Studio and will save you heaps of time and frustration.